outside. Good morning. It's a little bit before 6 a.m. here in El Chalten, and today Ali and I are going to be going on the Lake Capri hike to get a view of the infamous Fitzroy Mountain. And the reason we're getting up so early is because we're gonna try to get a view of Mount Fitzroy right around sunrise, because that's supposed to be one of the most beautiful times to see with the sun kind of shining and glowing on the mountain. And we're gonna see if we can make it. Allie's getting ready. I'm making us a quick little breakfast and then we'll be on our way. Good morning, Allie. Good morning. Ready to go on a hike today? So grocery store options here in El Child Town are pretty limited. So this morning's breakfast of champions, we have egg and cheese, oatmeal, some cold brew coffee, well, some cold brew mate tea. So not traditional, but should give us the energy and protein that we need for this hike. Let's go. We're on our way to the trailhead now, which is about a 10 to 15 minute walk outside of El Child Town, depending on where you're staying. And here, like I said, we're gonna do the Lake Capri circuit. It's about 5.4 miles in total length, so, so not too intense. And supposed to get some really beautiful views of Fitzroy. And also, if you want, you can continue along the same kind of trail and go further to, what is it? Laguna de los Tres, which is the most popular here. And I think that one's a little bit more like 8.9 miles or something yes. like that. So a little bit more intense, like very steep at the end apparently. So if we're able to get good views here, I think we'll just kind of do this circuit. Um, and if we want to keep going, then we will. And obviously, we'll let you know everything so let's go all right it's about 7 a.m you can already see the sun starting to peak over the youngest town in argentina el child 10 which we'll be coming back to of course later today now let's go see fitzroy oh, oh my gosh i'm dying oh my gosh i can see the tip <laughs> We're almost there. Oh my gosh. I ran off the path a little bit. I don't even know where I am. Oh my gosh, but look at this, guys. Oh, we made it. Look at that. How freaking beautiful. In our effort to catch the sunrise. Um, we got lost. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit lost. So we're trying to figure out exactly where we are. We're in the right area, but we don't know exactly where the trail is. Yeah, so I think the trail is to our right and then left. I think we went inside the loop, but I'm not certain. All right, let's try to get unlost. So we finally found our way back. And what happened was, as I said, this trail is a loop. And a little bit after kilometer three, you're going to see a sign that you're going to be able to choose to go either right towards the Mirador or the observation deck, or you can go left towards the Lake Capri, which is what we did. We took the left and now we're going to go see the lake. So let's go. We arrived at Lake Capri at our own secluded beach with a really special view. And honestly, I was expecting the hike to be a lot more difficult and steeper, but it was steepest in the beginning. Though the path was really well laid out, so it was easy, I would say easy hike. And after you pass through the steeper area, you're gonna go through a lot of trees. And then it's only after the trees that you're gonna be able to see more of Fitzroy when you get closer to Lake Capri. And for a little trivia, Fitzroy actually gained its name from a British captain with the last name of Fitzroy, who chartered a lot of the Southern Patagonia region. He was also captain with Charles Darwin, going all around South America for about five years. He's the governor of New Zealand, a meteorologist, and now he is a giant rock <laughs> that divides Argentina from Chile. So on the other side, you have uh, somewhere over there, Chile, and this side, Argentina. And if you see those light blue ice kind of over there in the distance, that's actually a glacier that you can hike to. Um, I didn't realize how close we were, and I'm hoping we can get a little bit closer. All right, so we arrived at the halfway point of our hike. So we could either go back down, down the loop, or what we're actually going to do is we're gonna take a little detour up 
on the way to Laguna de los Tres. We just want to hike a little bit more because it's still 11 a.m. So we're going to see what's there. It's now 1 p.m. and we're a little bit past the halfway point in terms of the halfway point between the beginning of the trail and Laguna de los Tres. And a couple things that we noticed. So number one, obviously, as we see, especially <laughs> Alice shivering here. It gets colder. It gets a lot colder. And apparently we were just talking to like one hiker and she mentioned that like at Laguna de los Tres or like closer to Fitzroy, it's negative two degrees Celsius yes. where it's like 15 degrees Celsius in El Chalten. Yes. So yeah, big temperature difference. Also, getting closer to Fitzroy, oh my gosh, it is just so much bigger. It's sometimes tough to kind of capture it with the camera, but man, it is definitely worth kind of, if you're just planning on doing Lake Capri, to definitely do a little bit more, go the extra little hike that we did, yeah. and already the views are so rewarding, and I can't even imagine getting closer, which yeah. we're going to do, and I'm super excited for. And now, when in Argentina, do as the Argentinians do. So of course, for our nourishment, dun, 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 we have some beef or carne empanadas, as well as some pollo, some chicken, um, in there to give us some nourishment. And to wash it down, we have some fresh glacier water that we actually just, I don't know, retrieved from this river right next to us that is fed by the glaciers. Muy bien. So we made it about two thirds of the way to Laguna de los Tres, but Ali's feeling a little bit unwell, so we decided it was best to turn around. Just for perspective, you see that winding trail that starts right down there and then goes up the hillside? That is the last leg of the Laguna de los Tres hike, which we were considering, but from where we are right now, as you can see here, going around and then ultimately up, would be about another four hours there and back and we literally just had an American come back and tell us this is the hardest leg of any hike that he's ever done. So pretty difficult hike, we've heard from multiple people. Um, so just something to consider. But that's one of the great things about this hike and Fitzroy is that from kind of that point on, right near Lake Capri on all the way to Laguna de los Tres, there's amazing views all along the way. And while this is the halfway point of our hike, there's still a couple other sites that we wanna catch on the way back and we're gonna be grabbing dinner in El Chalten, so let's go. All right, so not long after you actually start the hike, you're gonna come to this viewpoint called Rio de las Vueltas or Curvy River. And okay, the wind has picked up a bit, but we obviously couldn't see it very well because it was still dark on our way up. But we just stopped here and it's absolutely beautiful. It looks super clear right now. And it actually runs right next to the town of El Chalten. Broadcasting live, don't go outside. The winds are treacherous. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Think about your loved ones. Ali and I are now showered up, really tired, and really hungry. So we are on the hunt for a restaurant. I don't care if it's American, I don't care if it's Argentinian, yes. Mongolian. Yesterday, we tried to find a restaurant around like 7.30? 7.30, closer to eight. And had the hardest time. We went to three restaurants in a row. All were completely packed for at least one to two hours. And we finally found one and sat down and like, okay, we don't care what it is, we'll eat. So we're hoping to have a little bit better luck today and try to find a little nicer place that we can kind of include for you. Uh, so, man, let's go. All right, 
So Allie and I almost fell asleep there at the restaurant. I think as soon as the food hit our stomachs, we got so tired. So now with clear minds and about 10 hours of sleep, we wanna give you two additional tips for Fitzroy and El Chalten. So first is you don't have to go crazy like we did to see a beautiful sunrise of Fitzroy. As soon as you enter El Chalten, you'll see this big wooden sign. It's right next to the bus stop and obviously, most of you watching are probably gonna to get to El Chal 10 via bus like we did. And once you're there or you enter the city by car, right there at the beginning, there's the sign. If you go left, kind of facing Fitzroy, down the street, there's a lot less telephone poles. And oh, yeah. we're going to leave the location for you in the, the description below, as well as the all trails link, that the, the hike that we did, we'll leave it in the description as well. And in terms of the hike, after talking to more travelers and doing some more research, Allie and I do not regret turning back when we did. And we honestly believe that in terms of kind of the minimum effort, maximum, you know, uh, viewpoint is between about kilometer six and seven. Yes, between six and seven, close to the river, which was really chill. Really yeah, liked it. close to the river. It's not a popular stopping destination, so it's a lot more chill. And honestly, kind of objectively, going back through our footage and some of our photos, we look and it's definitely the most beautiful viewpoint. So basically, a lot of people that are a little bit, little bit less into hiking, they'll stop at either Lake Capri or Mirador and then turn back. And a lot of people that are really into hiking, which is awesome and great, will go all the way to Laguna de los Tres. So we honestly feel that kind of going to that point, kilometer six or seven, has kind of the best view without going too crazy. If you have any questions, any questions about the hike or El Chalten or anything, leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to check out our Ustuaya adventure, the end of the world, where we just came from and really loved it. And next stop is going to be Bariloche. So I hope to see you there, but until then, ciao. ciao. Is that good? <coughs> yeah, that was good.